Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Table minutes. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we just said Kathy's Kathy, been filming. Are you filming? She's like, uh, yeah. Two happen. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you won't see that part. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to have you with us this morning. I'm Sandy from Pine Dills in Gardner Village in West Jordan, Utah, and with with me is my friend Shannon. Good morning. Morning. And so we're twins sure. today. And we're twins today. And Kathy has the same shirt, but she's not wearing it. I know. Yours. I was hoping that she was. I was going to. But. Were you? Oh, she should have. She These should have. are our swig sweatshirts. That, yes. That if you the don't live in Utah, you probably price. don't know what swig is, but swig is. They do have them in a few states. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. Like Texas they were, and Arizona. And, yeah. I don't know. There's a few places. Oklahoma. They have yeah. yummy drinks and. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. And, and we're a sucker for what they sell. Oh let me my tell gosh, you. we and we make fun of Kathy because <laughs> Kathy goes every morning, and all she has to do is pull up, and she's got a big sucker, I think, across her windshield. Yeah, because all they have to do is say, "We have a new mug color. Do you want it?" And Kathy will say, "Yes, we're selling sweatshirts. sweatshirts. Do you, do you want, want one? Yeah. Yes." But then they don't tell I, her they have the free sticker. They only tell her when it's something yeah. to buy. Yeah, they need to give her free stuff. Yes, they do. But. She's a good, you know, ambassador for Swig. Because <laughs> then I had to go buy one. Well, yeah. I actually was looking at him to buy one, and then I came in, and Kathy was wearing it. And yes. I'm like, okay, now I have to because yeah. I want to be like Kathy. So, anyway. Yes. We are not an advertisement for Swig. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I liked it because it was kind of subtle. subtle. So my husband, I've worn it several times. And uh -huh. He has not even noticed that it's a swig sweatshirt. No, no, because you'd have to really be looking at that. Yeah. To say so. To know. You know but yeah. Fun. Anyway. All right. So we hope you had a wonderful Christmas. Yes. And so we are filming right before Christmas. Yeah. Because, so we haven't had yeah. Christmas yet. We haven't had Christmas yet, but I hope to finish my project. I will finish my project. But I'm sewing for Ovi. Oh, so. well, and I asked Kathy how um, candy making went, and she yeah, was kind of ho-hum about it. She said it wasn't yeah. great. We we had some issues on They had some, uh, we. I ate the peanut brittle, and it was delicious. So <laughs> I don't know about the candy making, but my poor mom has struggled. She's like, I got home the other night. How, how's your day, Mom? Ugh. Oh. I made three big loaves and one small loaf of banana bread. And she says, I must not have put a lot of enough flour in it because oh. all of a sudden I could smell, which the house still smells like burnt banana bread. Oh. And it was bubbling over the pan oh. in the oven. And so like she, baking soda, maybe? I don't. She said she did know when she put it in the pans, it seemed a little runnier than normal. Oh. But she you said know, she was going to check the baking soda. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes when you triple a batch. Yeah. You know, but anyway, some yeah, some that things was you bust. can't actually triple. You have to like make individually. Yeah, yeah. but and so then those how many too. batches of fudge did you make, Kathy? Well, no, we we just made the fudge. It was the um, English toffee. That oh, we, the English toffee that was didn't, didn't work out, work. Yeah. and English Throw toffee away. always works out. Oh, and they threw really? that away. And Kathy's like, I spent sixty dollars on stuff to make fudge. Why didn't I just go to the uh, chocolate Chuck covered wagon, wagon and, and buy, buy fudge. fudge. Yeah. But sixty dollars worth of fudge. Because it wouldn't be tradition. <laughs> well, and one batch of our suckers didn't work out either. Yeah. Oh. It was just not That's a good That's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. So but mom made suckers yesterday and they did work out. So mm. Well, you know, I had a party <clears throat> that I was in charge of and it was the same day as my mother in law gets her hair done okay yeah. you know and I we came I came in to do some stuff here because it was um, it was also the cheap fabric day yes so I mean it was crazy here so I was here for a while and then you know and I had to make cookies and I went and picked my mother-in-law up and she's so sweet and she said to me I have some errands do you have time to do errands and I went Are you sure, sure. <laughs> she's like do you have anything going on today I said well I have a party that I have to do later she says, oh we'll go a different day so I said, well, how about if I pick you up on Monday? I had a pedicure in the morning. I said, I'll just come get you, and we'll you can have the rest of my day. Yeah. And she said, oh, are you sure? And I said, yeah. And then she says to me, uh, will you get me back in time for lunch? <laughs> and I said, no, we'll just go out to lunch. Yeah. She's like, oh, that's even better. So, <laughs> so we did. We spent the whole day. But um, 
she sent me and I, I my mother-in-law just cracks me up because if she sees something that's plain she's got to put something, put on, something it. on it so she just I mean this is just a cheap stupid little canvas bag but she had to put little bears dancing bears they remind me of the on. care bears well she um had made a quilt for Erica years ago and it had these little dancing bears on it anyway so but she so I she when she moved she did not bring her sewing machine and so she said, can you just do the sewing part of the binding for this? And then I'll do the rest. So she sent this something. I thought, oh, I'm going to take it in. I'm going to show there because you go. she does really, really cute stuff. So this is, I, if you are a regular viewer, if you're a regular viewer, you heard me talk about this little um, wall hanging that she just kind of whipped up to give to oh, yeah. one of the guys that her kind of waiter that I guess he does every morning for breakfast. And so yeah. he wanted to send something to his mother. So she just kind of whipped this up. And it's all wool. It's all wool. And it's got those and wonderful then she, Sue Spargo stitches. Like, yes. Yeah. She, and she does, all, yeah, she does all these little embroidery stitches. And yeah, it's just That's cute. Sweet. So I thought, oh, I'll bring it in to share. So I, I'm like, oh, that You're shouldn't take me. That. that shouldn't take you long. Yeah, just to, to sew it on. And then she likes to do the hand yeah. binding yeah. while she watches TV. She so. didn't take her machine. She didn't take her. So it does have this this one piece uh -huh. right here is cotton, but the rest is yeah. It's yeah, she just she would totally downsized when she moved. Yeah, so she really did. But I just thought it was really cute, and she just kind of makes things up. Uh huh. Well, she's like, talented. Okay. Anyway, so I thought I would share that. So you had your fun day together. So Monday. we went shopping and got her. I and you know, she, she will be ninety seven in February. And she's still, you know, she she does fine uh -huh. going places. And I, I'm tall. I mean, you and I are yeah. both tall. Yeah. You know, are, are you five mm ten? -hmm. That's how tall I am. I'm five ten. She's just this short little lady. Oh, is she? So just I have to remind baby. myself to walk slow. Yes. Because I take long strides. Long strides. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. My daughter is, you know, I'm five ten. My daughter's barely five feet. Oh. And. When she was little, she was like, Mom, slow down. Yeah, you know. it's hard. But yeah. so, yeah, we got all of her errands done. But, you know, like I said, she's 97. And so it's it's really difficult for her to see the prices of stuff. Yeah. And she one of the one of the stops she needed to make was at Walgreens to just get, you know, I don't know, I, tissues and cough drops that she likes mm -hmm. to keep on hand and airborne and, mm -hmm. you know, lip balm and it was like, you know, $128. Yeah. And she was like, what? Did you put something else in there that I didn't want? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure at that age, like yeah. the prices today are just, yeah. Oh. She wanted tissue paper cause she bought chocolate bars to give to some of her neighbors. And we'd, we'd gone to all a dollar and found little bags and she wanted tissue paper and it was five and a half dollars for a great big thing of tissue paper. She's like, oh, I'm not paying that. <laughs> Okay. She's like, they can have it without tissue paper. I'm like, okay, okay. that sounds great. Sounds good. Whatever you need to do. So, yeah. but I love being with her. Yeah, she, that's fun. That's She's awesome. Cute. 97, I want to be that good when I'm 97. I know. It, the only pill she takes is a high blood pressure pill. Oh my that's gosh. That's the only prescription she that's has. That's awesome. She's got good genes. Oh, she's, yeah. She's got good genes. Yeah. So we were talking about making candy and such. So last week, our question for the giveaway um, and it was a little Christmas tree quilt kit. Was what do you what food do you like to eat during Christmas? What's kind of specific to Christmas that you enjoy? So we did a random drawing, and the winner was Graham B J H eight one five seven, and she said my favorite is Hershey's homemade fudge. Takes a lot of time, and I enjoy making it. Awesome. So Graham B J H. 8157 if you could mail us some of that fudge yeah. because Kathy's didn't work out that'd be great <laughs> <laughs> no you're making fudge today no we made it you did make it I did make it yeah oh yeah you went to mom's we made it. tonight yeah yeah after work but yeah, if you that if you are our winner please email me at contact us at pineneedlesonline.com um because a lot of you I don't know because these are yeah. not your names so right Make sure you email me. If you if you don't remember that, then just go to our website, pineneedlesonline.com, and you can click contact us, and you will reach me that way. Yeah. 
so. and we will get you your prize. Yeah. So, and I've been talking to a lot of people lately, so That's and awesome. everybody's always surprised when I call on the phone. They're like, "You call?" <laughs> I'm like we do if we need to. That's so, right. So sometimes you, if you have a phone number pop up and it's from Utah, South it Jordan or West Jordan, yeah. it could be me. So yeah. answer it. Yeah. That's the thing. You're, if you're not here in the store, it doesn't have the store right. name when you're calling. Right, but, right. Um, so we are doing a giveaway today. What are we giving away today, Shanna? Today we were talking and we were discussing that we've done a wool project. We've done a quilting quilt project. So we're going to do a stitching Christian, project. Yeah. So this is Sandy's pattern. It's called January Snapshot. And we are going to give away the pattern and we actually have the linen yeah. that she stitched it on which is it's just a cute linen it just makes it so fun it kind yeah. of looks like little snowballs it's got polka dots it's on got it. little polka dots i'm going to kind of hold it up all together so it doesn't so this is what we're giving away you'll get a yeah. piece of the linen and you'll get a pattern and yep yep so the question to for today is what do you do to beat the after christmas blues Oh yeah, the letdown. What do you do after the holidays that kind of feeds your soul? Um, lifts you back up. Lifts you back up. So, okay. We could always use some tips. Be interesting we to see what people use do. Some tips for that because winter is long. It is depending on where you live. If you're in Australia, you're at the beach. <laughs> so, I see. But, I don't love January. I don't no. mind February, but my, you know, how people will say today is January ninety third. I feel that way about July. Mm -hmm. I just feel like July goes on forever, yeah. but I'm not a heat person, so. Yeah. What, <laughs> Kathy, what are you doing? Are you, doing? <laughs> are you getting a weird view there on the camera? Well, it looks like a shadow or something. Oh, well. We to decided, figure out what it is. We were trying to decide where to film, and we picked here because this is kind of our winter our corner. Our snowman nook here. Yeah, so, this so is, we've got BJ's quilt behind us, which is... Love. What is it called? Do you have the kids right there? And this I one? I think it's called. Oh, right here. Love snowman. Happy Winter oh, happy, Snowman. Yeah. Happy Winter Snowman. Oh, that's not a bad price. No. Eighty-four ninety-five for this kit. So cute. Got a lot of really cute. Yeah. And some just. I like it because it's got the little pink hearts on it. It just. I like it because it can get you through yeah. all through winter and Valentine's. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you a couple other winter items. So we have our snowman. This is another one of yours. Table runner patterns. And it is called Winter Friends. It's really cute. And we have kits or we have patterns for that. Really cute. And we have that. And then Shelly just finished this quilt, which is so fabulous. I love this line too. I do too. This, this is, is from really Shan cool Sandy Gervais Winter. What's the name of that collection, um, Kathy? I can't remember. I can't remember either. It's Sandy it's Gervais a really, Winter really line. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> and if you were in the Bowl Club, Arrival uh, of Winter. Arrival of Winter. Oh, yeah, Arrival yeah. of Winter. If you were in the Bowl Club, some of these fabrics were in your yep. kit. Were in your kit. Oh. And it's got this great little mitten. Love that. Scarves one. and mm -hmm. hats on the back. And the pattern is, hello, oh no, take, take me, me home. home. Take me home. Oh, I wanna sing a little John Denver. Yeah, there you go, Country Roads. Mm -hmm. But it's just a great winter. It is. I love the colors. I do too. And this fabric here, this is the one that you used in your kits. Yes. But I love this little, is Text. this one right here? Yep. It's just so cute. Yeah. It's, it's got sweet. great. And it is not, it's not Christmas, it's winter. winter. Yeah. Yeah. So. Snowmen and ice skates and mittens and gloves and snowflakes. It's really cute. Well, it is. It's called Arrival of Winter. Yep, so Arrival of Winter. Sense. So, while we're talking about Arrival of Winter, I just need your opinion on something. Okay. I have been going places, you know, and I, I if I wear, have a purse, it hurts my shoulders. So I always have a little backpack. So my girls and I have kind of been into the lounge fly backpacks. Okay. So this is my little bag for Christmas I've been using. Oh yes. A little Rudolph. Yep. Do you know who this is? Well, that's the Bummel Snowman. Okay. Is he in the Rudolph show? Yes, he is. Okay. 
I cannot tell you how many people say, well, why would they put a random Yeti there? I'm like, because he's in the show. Don't you remember that the little <laughs> dentist elf yes. works on his teeth? Yes. And, that's and then he's I, not grumpy. And, and I'm like, it, and it's younger girls. Uh -huh. So I'm like, is it just me? You know, yeah. is it just us older people that know him? He's, but I've had a lot of people say, who yep. is that? And, and then, you know, Courtney, we're having some technical difficulties yeah. today. But so back if, to our discussion if on your things bag. look a little different yeah that's because they are yeah. <laughs> we don't know <laughs> anyway so and well and so you have oh, Burl yeah. Ives there on the back yes. singing silver and gold yes so anyway I but I was like do people just not know Rudolph you know oh. we talked about favorite Christmas movies and, and our children will never know the little Naroko guy in the snow oh yeah I forgot about him yeah remember the yeah. snow Burl Ives on the yeah yeah Naroko on, on occasion yeah. I will sing some sort of a little you know ad from the past yep my girls yeah. that we want to come crazy but obviously the ads work because yeah. I remember we them still remember <laughs> That's right. they're still there yeah. anyway so, okay good. so did you want to talk about this quilt here so then Shelly Shelly did another quilt that she just finished and this is just this is an art gallery quilt. It's cute too. It uses these beautiful art gallery fabrics and it is called Butterfly, Butterfly Patch. Patch. And it's we really do cute have one. kits for that. Shelly is an art gallery girl. Yep, she likes her art gallery. Really and these kits are $76.95. Is that right? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And as the pattern and the fabric for your front, your binding, and then you just need to purchase your bag. But really lovely colors from it's really our pretty. gallery. Mm -hmm. So perfect time to start something new. Just new. a little yeah. Because this so, could be springy, it could mm -hmm. be Valentine-y. Yeah. Just, just put it out. Any season. It's so really pretty really cute. So anyway, yes. you got any exciting plans for the new year? Get the ball club out. <laughs> I know. Um, so my lady that does my pedicures has moved further away it takes yeah. a long time to get to her and my parents go to her and so my dad he doesn't really want to drive that far so he's like we're gonna have to do pedicures all together so we can the three of us can go together yeah. but they were due for pedicures during bowl club week I said that's not gonna happen yeah like you're gonna have <laughs> to wait a, a week, week. <laughs> well, it's, I'm gonna say I, I cannot take you then I cannot commit to anything yeah. that week until I know where we're at that week we have bowl club going out and we have both um Project bag kits going, going out, out that yeah. same week. Yeah, not silly that week. Santa or silly Sandy. She scheduled them all to release in the same week. <laughs> Let's just load it up in one week. Let's get it all over with in one week. Mm -hmm. That's why I just block off that first week yeah. of every month. I yeah. just tell people you'll have to wait. I don't know what days Sandy needs me, so you have to sit in limbo You're so nice. if you need me. Anyway, but you know, since Christmas is over, can I tell you a funny Christmas story? Uh -huh. So my cute little Nicole, um, she is going to grad school right now, and she has two people that she doesn't go speak, two families that she goes, does, goes and does um, speech with. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just it's just enough just to give her a little bit of money every month. <clears throat> so she, and she's been working with these families for years. You know, they mm -hmm. they each have had several kids that she's worked with. Anyway, she went and she bought them each just a little Christmas gift. So she went to one of them the other day to give them their, and gave them their Christmas gift because it was the last time she'd go before Christmas. And she gave it to the boy and he opened it and she's like, he was so excited. She bought him some game. It was something about throwing a burrito or something. Oh yes, yeah. You I know that, that game? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So that's what she bought him. I'd never heard of it. She'd yeah. never have, but she saw it at Red Balloon Toy Store and that's what she bought. And he was just so excited. And she says the parents were just kind of looking at each other and then they started they laughing. And Nicole said, is there something wrong? And they're like, no, no, it's fine. And she's like, no, what's going on? And they said, that's the only thing he asked for for Christmas this year. It was the only thing on his list. And Nicole felt horrible. She's like, I am so sorry. She's like, I could take it back and give him something else. And they said, They're like, no, nope, it's fine. It's done now. And I mean, they were cute. They yeah. said, it just shows how well you know our child. Yeah. But oh, Nicole funny. felt horrible that she kind of like ruined. She's like, and so she went over to the tree and pulled it out. She's like, this is it right here. Right here. See? <laughs> but I'm like, of all the things. Yeah. 
That's so funny. Yeah. But anyway. We played a fun game last night. What was it called, Kathy? Um, I think it was Mind Your Gap or something. Yes, like Mind that. Your Gap. Mind Your Gap. Oh. Mind, the, mind the Gap. Mind the, something. Yeah, like it was that. kind of like Generation Gap. Type oh. Thing. And so we were all, I don't know, there's how many of us that last night? There was a little bunch of us around the table and played that. That was fun. Mm. Some questions that. Did they ask you questions it, about There's past questions. Things? There's. Um, if you're a millennial, millennial, if you're, you know, so there's girl, things that my mom was like, Gen X and, I have no idea, but you get different ages on your team to try it's to, nice to kind of, so that someone on your team yeah. might know it. There were some questions we were like, does anybody have any idea what that question is talking about? It was like, nope. Uh, <laughs> but I know. I, I think Jason's mom is like so old that I don't think she really has one of those. It's like the, I think they call them the silent Silent generation yeah. or something because they're just, you know, they're just kind of there, yeah. Anyway, okay. so hopefully everybody has a great New Year. We haven't yeah. had New Year's yet. Not yet, but yes. uh, yeah, we're busy getting stuff ready for the first Bowl Club. Yep, getting that ready, and we will kind of talk about the New Year next week in our table talk. Yeah. Well, but we've it's got still up. open. Yes, still open. You can get in. It'll be open through the month of January. We'll be letting people sign up as Kathy rolls her eyes behind there. Kathy but, has not like threatened to close it yet. No, she hasn't. But. So she will once we hit January. <laughs> once we get the middle of January, yeah. she'll start. But okay. Because we'll, she mails. She yeah, has she to does mail all, all those extra she, ones. She keeps track of everything that's <laughs> gone out, hasn't, what, you know, all yeah. that. So. And but, she'll be like, Sandy, they're almost gone. Sandy, yeah. we don't have that fabric anymore. Sandy, you got to close <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> yep. No, but it'll be open for a bit. So you still have time to sign up. And we've been thrilled with how many people have signed up. It's been fun. Yeah. So yeah, lots of good response. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas and that you're looking forward to a new year. And we appreciate you joining us. We'll talk to you later.